Hey yo, how's it going boys? How's it going? Hope you guys had a great party on the New Year's Unless you're a sad person like me and uh, we just ended up playing GBF anyway So uh, hello, hope you guys are good Here we are once again, we are uh, Future Notes or Koriga or 2022 The first one of the year Yeah Okay, I just realized that they're tear off so uh, please don't go after them Else uh, FBI will come knock knocking at your door Okay Alright, anyways, let's start. Okay, uh, so... Yes, New Year outfits, yes, I have this now, so that's cool. I'm probably getting Lucio too anyway, but uh, yes. I'm not, uh, this this just scammed the fuck out of me, I'll never forget that. <laughs> fuck this dude, this is such a scam. <laughs> the animation was so ass. <laughs> The only difference is that her sprite looks relatively okay. I would even think that her full limit break version still looks okay anyway. And it has much better effects than this paid outfit. My god man, what a goddamn scam dude. Oh good god, okay. Uh, so we have Xeno on the 8th. When is that? Next Saturday, okay. Alright, let's go. What is the exit? What the fuck is this? Oh wait, I went through too far. Uh, okay, we'll get AX skills, okay. That is the, uh, the spear, right? The spear will get 5 star now. Excuse me. Okay, true. Will be added to the shop, okay. Missions added. Clearing all missions will award a dark earring. Oh, that's, wait, that's new. That wasn't a thing before, that's, that's good. <laughs> Sure, free. I can say no to free earrings, so that's nice. Okay. Ah, yes, Guild War. Ah, unless we get to stare at legs all day, right? Just zoom in on that, right? Zoom in on this portion of the fight itself. Okay. United fight starts on 15th. The boss will be Artemis. The drop rate of meat chunks will be permanently increased. On EX and EX Plus, Nani? Poggers? And there's a chance that. What? That's, that, that an EX or EX Plus will be a golden tyrant that drops only meat chunks. Oh. <laughs> oh. That's Poggers. That's actually Poggers. We can spend less time farming meat! <laughs> Poggers! Wow! I like! Alright, what else? After the room, the, the Kumarcon War, meat chunks for January's Unite and Fight will be replaced by Coco Coombs. And the token draw animation will change for this run only. Okay. Sure. <laughs> uh, nice granny. The many lives of cats. Redrun begins on January 22nd. And before we talk about the new young cat outfits, fur patterns, here's the rerun banner art. Okay. Milky short gold eyes with jet b black fur. And Ginger Cat outfits for Young Cat will be available in the treasure tr trade shop for the event. Which one will you be putting on the cat? None of these, obviously. Because it's not fucking blue! Wait, where's the picture? Okay. He should be like this! <laughs> where's this color? He needs to be in this color, chat. And it's none of that! What is this? Dude! Wait. Wait, hold on. Uh, where's my GBF? Dude, they even allowed us to fucking name him to Tom. Dude, this is a fucking blasphemy, man. What is this, man? Where's Cat? See? <laughs> they even allowed you to name him as Tom! <laughs> this is bullshit! <laughs> Where, where's his color, man? SMH side games. You had one, you had one chance at this. You screwed it up. 
Where's Tom's actual color? Tower of Babel returns again on the 24th during the many lives of Cats we run. While Babu put some clothes on. <laughs> yeah. So that's on 24th. So 22nd is on a Saturday and then 24th, Monday. Wow, I like Kubira. Well, at least we can still see her booba a little bit though. But I do notice like all the uh, the full of break recently has all this effect. Lots of lots of effects. Like all of them are very very uh, you know, you see like all this you see this all these effects here? See there's like so much shit, right? There's like all this stuff happening on the screen. This one's probably like the least amount. <laughs> but yeah, Doggo has a lot as well. You see, there's a lot of this... This... Swish swish... Lines. Like every single one of them has it. Same goes for her now, look at that. Like, see all these lines? <laughs> there's so... There's always... There's all these effects. Tier of Weapons will also receive 4 star uncaps in January. Nani? Wow. Wow. Miss Miranda Fire, Fire Noise. Water Vein. Water Vampy. Earth Beatrix. Earth Fiorito. Uh, Win Azusa. Oh wow, she's getting it already so fast. Win Show, Light Luna Lu, Light Arthur, Dark Albert, Dark Zahek. Wow, that's actually a lot of uh, weapons getting full moment break. Then people are already using this. I wonder how is this gonna turn out to be, right? Oh my god! Extra drop campaign will last into January 8th. The remaining le uh, legs on the campaign are Dark Arp going on now. And then light up. Oh boy. While we are still in the New Year special, another GBF New Year campaign awaits us on January 5th. Alright, that's the that's the, the other lake um uh, MacFest, isn't it? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I had to do 300 fucking CEQ again. <laughs> another Ah. Uh -huh. New bonus poses for certain characters featured in Grand Blue Fest 2021 art. Lunalu, Katura, Meg, Percival, Vane, Cassius, Hales. Oh. So we get to use them now? Wait, I want this though. I actually want this. Doko, I want. So sad. <laughs> Why is this not an outfit? Seriously. <laughs> I, I, find, I find this a crime. That she does not have this outfit. <laughs> they keep showing us that this uh, she has this outfit. We are not allowed to use it. New items will be added to the Cerulean Stone Shop. Long Dog Animas? Oh shit boys. Poggers. Time to get 299. Or 300 cerulean stones instead of sparking. <laughs> Meteorites, lineage fragments, wow. Heavenly horn, wow. Halos! Discounts on two items. Supreme merit, oh, half price. Champion merit, toilet paper gets redu redu uh, reduced. Wow, dude. Maybe I can just grab this now. Instead of doing trains. I can actually just go grab this, but 20 each is quite quite painful though. <laughs> 20 each, man. Merchandise? Wow. Imagine getting those glasses though. With the start of the new year, Emma Plagues featuring uh, Sidala are now available for free at the Grand Cypher Kitchen. Wishes and hopes are traditionally written on these Emma Plagues at shrines. And they can be hung up at a cafe for skyfarers to see or brought home for yourself. How nice. That's it?
That's it? Wow, this this month seems pretty empty as well besides Guild War. <laughs> I mean this seems whatever, but just really Guild War in this. <laughs> seems like a beige month. To be fair though, I don't think a lot of uh, new players are really gonna stick along for that long. Right? <laughs> Imagine sticking like after after when roulette ends, you're just gonna see all the 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 seasonal plays are just gonna go continue beijing. Well, blow the guild war scores. I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, maybe for uh, like the the really super high end ones, but I don't think it really matters for like top APK or some shit. For guild war, hmm, I don't think guild war is gonna be like pushed up really freaking high though. Because I don't think a lot of people are, like, have, you know, the setup for easy access guild war shit. Unless everybody has leech already. I would like to assume not everyone has leeched or something. Or even the likes of, like, Hades and shit. You know, you have, like, all the Nightmare 95 setup. Then you want to do full auto stuff, you need to get leech fidel 650 and shit just to speed up the process and stuff. Which I don't think... A lot of people actually are able to get that. You know, chat. I'm actually thinking for Guild War, right? There's a high chance that Chaos Ruler might actually be the strat for like easy access Guild War stuff. Full auto, I mean. Like, I'm not even joking. It might actually be a good thing. If you actually remember, if you max out Chaos Ruler. This spell is on 3 turn rotation. Don't forget. This spell is a 3 turn rotation for Chaos Ruler. Remember how Mammoth turned out to be? <laughs> so I'm, I'm guessing we might need some dispels. If we are using 6 Leech and Fidel, right? We are not going to have any dispels there. So having some sort of dispel on MC might actually be good. <laughs> but I wonder if you really need Fidel for a full auto though. You might actually just remove- you might not even need Fidel. But Fidel does give you fucking a crazy amount of defense though. Look at that. Well technically 75% but still. Because of this. <laughs> I mean that's like literally a free garrison. You don't even need to- you don't even need to equip any like Majestas or whatever by the looks of it. Because I think last last Dark Favorite Guild War we actually kinda need to. Just to make our lives easier to a certain extent. But now we have the characters and shit, we don't really need that anymore. And don't forget, this thing is fucking 10,000 man. <laughs> I mean yeah, it's a 16 turn cooldown but still, this shit is fucking 10,000 though. At least you would think about it this way, right? I think on average people, if you're like able to full auto at a relatively decent pace, 450 for example, you should be able to kill it be less in less than maybe 14 turns. Like in between maybe like 11 to 14 turns you're able to kill 150. So think about it in that sense right, if you have at least see this shield thing at 10,000 right, you could immediately just forego like at least two ogies. And by then, two ogies, right? You're probably close to 50% already, by the way. That's usually how it tends to be. Usually. <laughs> and that alone is already more than enough. And plus, you have this as well. So you're... You're... Basically having at least the spell cancel for like the first 50% of the fight. And I would definitely think that will make a lot of difference as well. So imagine if you can at least keep this up right. For the first 50% right. Which usually tends to be the, the, the problematic one. If you know if you were getting debuffs or whatever. And because you know you're not. You don't, you don't really run clear in dark. And then you have this right. Bruh. <laughs> so it's gonna be pretty nice though. Hades look for a grid. I mean everyone's gonna run two PNS and shit, but uh I'm not gonna run that. I'll probably have to like use my stamina setup instead because I do not have 
two Shalimaxes. I do not have two penises. Wait, what? <laughs> I mean, I do not have uh, two leeches weapon. <laughs> Imagine having two penises though, god damn. <laughs> That's Monka, dude. Uh, you could, but I don't think you really want that anyway. It's not like you really need to use axe either way. You can, but I don't think you really need to. Nanjik was suggesting to me that... Uh, you could technically just use Vite's dagger. You don't really even need an axe. and Because this guy has like crit as well. His weapon has crit, and he does give this as well. So it's actually not that bad though. It's not like you really need to use an axe, because technically you're, you're essentially just putting in more axe in the grid for leech, right? For PNS things. It's just so you can basically get rid of uh, the uh, your astral. You see? You're basically using this just for like a pseudo astral rather. You don't really need to, you know, have this. You're essentially using this weapon just for this too. Not really for this. Yeah, I guess ruling pen is actually not too bad as well. Where's Lunalu? Yeah, this one is relatively okay as well. Yeah, because you get that. But only if you go for crit though. So technically speaking, you can just use other ones. You don't really need to go for like the, the Soul Eater. Soul Eater is heli, right? Yeah. You don't really need this. So it's not too not too important to have this. Because this is just you're essentially just using this because it's an axe and then well he has this, right? You don't really need that. That's why I was even considering maybe even like Vite's dagger is actually okay. Because I do have that. That's why I was considering that as well at some point. Because it was it was a really good suggestion from uh from Nagic. He has big crit and small attack and also it gives you extra skill cap and it doesn't really seem to be that bad. Extra skill cap seems nice. Because you are essentially using a skill cap, a skill damage setup anyway, right? And it's not... See, here's the thing. If you think about it, right? If you're using this, right? This maybe might not be as good if you're using uh, Fidel's weapon, right? If you're using Fidel's weapon, it might not be that good. Because Fidel's weapon does essentially give you skill cap as well. I don't think it stacks... Uh, I think it stacks the same amount as well too, isn't it? No? Because it's essentially just skill cap. Where the hell is she? Yeah, see? Big boost to skill cap. And then Blink supp Supplemental. Which is technically... This is... For those who are wondering again, this is essentially... If you max this out to like skill level 15, right? This is essentially the same as Agonize. This is more or less the same as Agonize, which is 100k, I think. But yeah, then this one is like almost somewhat the same. So if you're ex essentially using this weapon, right? I don't think you want to use this. Wait, wait, where is it? This one. Yeah, I don't think you, you want to use this. Yeah. So that's that's probably one of the uh, the main thing you might want to consider. So that's why this there there is some sort of like especially if you if you do not have like that you know that amount of uh, what's that weapons or whatever to make do with. You just you just gotta you know how do I say improv improvise from there. Because I do not have that right. So that's why like I think I show I did show you my grid already like the ones that I use for like the videos that I did not too long ago like for yeah this setup that I use with Fidel and stuff yeah I am using somewhat like this where I'm only using one and I'm using stamina shit right here with two agonize so like if you're using like Fidel's weapon you can technically just remove one agonize for that for Fidel's weapon and shit you could do that but like I am not really going to bar Fidel's weapon because I don't really see the point in it. <laughs> we'll see how it goes because uh, I can I can still somewhat play around just to like uh, just to uh, experiment and shit but for now I am still relatively okay with what I'm using at the moment but we will see when the time comes like when we get to know what the fuck the guild war boss does and then maybe I improvise from there because I I have no idea what the hell I'm really going to equip at the moment. But yeah, I have this. 
That's why I was considering that. I do even have this too, technically. <laughs> I do have Soul Eater maxed out as well. But other than that, I don't really have that many other choices to, to slot shit in there. So yeah, we gotta see. You gotta wait and see. I have no idea what the hell I'm gonna run. Yeah, I mean, you, if you have that, then yeah, might as well just do that. You could just do that, yeah. But f honestly, I'm just, it's like, it's more of, like I say, you just gotta improv and use what you have. You don't essentially have to, you know, have that that double, that that two PNS and two Babu slash Shalim axes, you know, that kind of shit. No, I don't think you need to. <laughs> like, I think I have a crewmate uh, that has that as well. I think, uh, yeah, if I recall correctly, Krupp did mention he has them, but he's like, he he's like, he was telling me, I think. He was saying like along the lines where he actually just hates Shalim's weapon altogether. Where the hell is Shalim? Yeah. He doesn't like Shalim's weapon at all because Shalim's weapon seems kind of ass to a certain degree. Because all, basically all you get is just get extra crit and the only bonus out of this is just really the extra HP. Because of Majesty. That's pretty much it. That's... Like other than that, he just, he just didn't really like how this weapon is and he just finds this weapon fucking weak as hell so he's like he just bad he's just thinking like he's just probably gonna use stamina as well shit like that you know like even though you have like a lot of bars or whatever you still you 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 kind of still need to like experiment and shit and just make use of what you currently have instead of like just mindlessly burning your 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 gold bars or whatever and to just follow other people <laughs> you know he, should, he technically shouldn't do shit like that. It's like, yeah, maybe those whalers have those setups like, oh my god, that setup is like the best in the world, but like... Do you really need to follow though? Probably not though. <laughs> it's more likely that you don't even need to follow any of them. It's like, you, you just... Usually for the most part, you want to take those... Those like whatever videos and shit, or whatever stuff you see on Twitter... That they share those shit. You take those... You use that as reference, and then you build it, build your grid according to what they originally have, and then you just p slot in a stuff that as like maybe you can use as placeholder and shit for the time being. I'm not exactly sure how is uh, the Guild Wars setup is going to be at the moment, but uh, we'll see, I guess. You mentioned how you want at least one PNS, and some dude basically came over to, on top of your message just say you must have two. I mean, if you really want to mean max shit, yeah. <laughs> that's that's pretty much it. If you really want to mean max that shit, but it's like, do you really want to do that? Like burn all your currency on your element on that specific element, just so you can uh, be, I don't know, slightly faster, and shit. I would only say. If anyone wants to do that setup, I feel like that setup is mostly for people who has got leaping and you want to aim for like top 100 or some shit. You know? If you really want to go into like the leaderboards and shit, then yeah, maybe I can say you should do that. But other than that, there's really no reason for you to do that. If you want to just like get into the, like what top 80k, you don't even need any of this. You can just stay in Magna, bro. <laughs> you can just stay in Magna. You can even just have one PNS in your Magna setup and you'll still be fine. <laughs> I'm very certain you can just use the um, the Celeste Fist setup with at least one PNS and still do relatively well. Because end of the day, you just need the characters. <laughs> and a lot of time. <laughs> You know? You just need a lot of time because you want to like full auto a lot. Unless you're you're just gonna manual like say let's say let's just say right if you're if you're you if you can uh manual 150 in like maybe two minutes or less, right? Maybe okay, maybe two minutes or less is a little bit too much for some people. Maybe like average three minutes, okay? Give or take. Around three minutes to four minutes, let's just say, right? If you can manual 150 in that time, you probably can finish uh the, the usual amount that you probably need per day for day uh hundred 
for day 3 and day 4 in like 4 or 5 hours or maybe even less. If you full auto, usually maybe on average you will take like between like a really good one is like 5 minutes or a relative or like on average people will probably take maybe 8 to 10 plus minutes. So that's why I meant like you need a lot of time because all you need to do is just like yeah you 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 have your phone put the all full auto put it on the table and you just leave it there until it's over and then you just go again and just repeat again over and over again <laughs> of course dude guns is pretty shit these days man <laughs> if you're referring to avatar guns yeah avatar guns is kind of whatever these days okay i think i dragged this way too fucking long i ended up talking way too much about guild war stuff but uh hey this mine is mostly guild war anyway so i guess it's it's okay but uh besides that i don't think there's really much else in the korega anyway so till then uh I should also put out my OTK soon, but I don't think there's anything special about that OTK anyway because I'm copying other people's homework regardless. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hope you had a great uh, uh, twenty early. Uh, was that beginning of twenty twenty two? Hope you had a good RNG in your remaining roulette, and I'll see you guys on the next one.